Okay, today we are doing a furnace AC coil, 80% or five ton. I already kind of ripped that guy off, but yeah, this is the, the ghetto rigged system right there. We gotta run a hit over to an office on that side. In this room, we have to add two hits over here. Two small hits just for this room because it gets pretty hot and humid down here. And if we go in here, this is the main attraction. So we got this guy right here pulling all this out. I have to put a media filter in there, so I gotta cut that all apart. But uh shouldn't be too bad because we're not doing a 90 anymore. They wanted to do a 90 and there's no way to freaking run the pipes since there's gas pipes and chimneys and everything else out there. So I gotta I gotta find out about that thing. I'm pretty sure that thing's dead because it's not even plugged in. But uh yeah. Now that we have the right equipment and everything's right, this uh, shouldn't be too, too bad. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. All right, while I was taking this thing apart, the board was kind of floating there. Like, okay, I can move that out of the way, pull the blower out. And then that's when I noticed that. That's why it died right there. You can see. It fucking arced off the metal there and probably fried the board. Just because it wasn't secured properly. Yeah. So, thought I'd show that. And then of course they got it all spliced in there and everything, so I gotta deal with all that. But other than that, this hopefully should come out pretty, pretty easy. But yeah, I haven't seen a, an arc on a back panel like that in a while. Okay, so we got the unit out. I'm gonna have to mess with that big ass thing of metal. Most that's probably getting cut away. Yeah, so that's out. Next thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut that whole boot apart because uh, we're getting rid of that single um, single filter. We're putting in a media filter. So and then we got Tyler cutting in the Reggies. Then we have the new guy outside doing all the other stuff. So this is actually going a little bit faster than I thought. So pretty sweet so far. Pretty sweet so far. But yeah, now I get to gut the crap out of that with the sawzall because, yeah, that's all I have right now. So let's have fun with this. Okay. Let's do this crap. Okay. 
Actually, the one thing I can do, I've done it before, it makes it a lot easier, and it lines up with the unit better, is I leave this bottom piece on, and my new filter rack can actually sit on top of this, and then I'll have to trim this out for it to fit anyway, because the one I have is going to be a lot larger regardless. So I'll do that. I'll draw out the, uh, the uh, what's it called, rivets right there, and then it should sit on top of it perfectly. And then I can screw that down a little easier instead of trying to fight me while I hold it up and try to get screws into it. that bottom piece off, but it's just like that, and that'll actually work out perfectly. Once you sit on bricks, it should line up perfectly. It's actually the same size. I, was, I actually thought it was going to be bigger. Cool. All right. I have my drill. the time this works I just run a screw through it and it should just break it apart helps if the battery is not freaking dead furnace down here got that all screwed in secure just got to do tape but i'm gonna wait till the end to do that because i do that with everything so i just gotta tip this guy over cut the side out and then it's all mechanicals and sunshine and then that coil i don't have to mess with that thing so let's get to it
we are up and running. We got it all in. Pipe's the same. New coil, big boy coil. We got the filter there. Got the uh, easy traps just draining right back into that guy here. This is just a storage room, so it's not too bad. TXC right there, which I hate these ones. They don't come with like a little cover for them. We left the old UV light in case they ever want to get a bulb. Probably won't work anyway, but if they ever want it, it's there. And then out here, we added the two Reggies because it was always humid and hot in the basement. That feels good. And there's another one in the back office over there. But uh, yeah, it's like 130, 135. Having that third guy really helped out today. But uh, yeah, so just uh easy day. And I know tomorrow's gonna be even easier. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.